Hi, everyone. I'm so excited and so happy that you are joining me um, in this series of presentations. Uh, this is the first presentation of the series, The In Inimitable Instructor. My name is Julie Reynolds. I'm a licensed vocational nurse, a certified nurse manager, and QAPI certified professional. I'm also a certified CPR instructor. In this series, we are going to learn, or I'm going to show you how to become an inimitable instructor. Whether you instruct nurse aides, um, nursing, um, whether you instruct EMT or uh, medication aid, um, this uh, series will help you to become inimitable um, in instructing your students. So anyway, I consult with um, nurse aid training programs, um, instructors, and students alike. And I receive a lot of questions. And one of the one of the common questions that I receive is, how do I um, achieve, or how do how do how do my students achieve a hundred percent first time pass rate on their state certification exam? across the board consecutively. Um, and what I tell them is I'm inimitable, okay? I am inimitable and I'm going to show you how you can be inimitable and I'm going to share with you um, how I became um, an inimitable. So in this series, I'm going to share with you how I created um, a goal, and that's really a key element into becoming inimitable. And just keep in mind that uh, this is not going to occur overnight. It did not occur overnight for me. As a matter of fact, it took it took a few years for me to become inimitable. So what is inimitable? Inimitable is when you are so good or very unusual as to be impossible to duplicate. Um, is being unique in your own design, or maybe you um, you know you inherit a design from another instructor, but you give it a little, little twist and make it your own. It's being second to none and being exclusive and a rare gem. Okay, you want to be a rare find. So there are three key elements when you want to, um, you know, become inimitable. One of those is to have a goal, okay? Um, the second is to have a plan to meet that goal. And the third is to be able to implement and maintain your plan. Here is my goal, okay? And of course, your goal... Um, may be different from what my goal is, and that's fine, okay? Um, but I just wanted to share with you my goal uh, that is specific to my training program and to my students. Um, I would like to be able to encourage and ensure uh, that my students prosper in both knowledge and understanding and training materials, their role as nurse aid students, and their role to becoming certified nurse aides. So the key to successfully implementing and maintaining this goal throughout consecutive training cycles is making sure that the goal is attainable, not just for you or not just for, excuse me, not just for your students, but also for you. If the goal that you set forth is not attainable for you, um, there is no way in heck that you are going to be able to implement it and maintain it. And I think that's where uh, the broken link lies with a lot of instructors. They set goals that are not um, attainable or that they're not able uh, to make a plan or carry out the plan because it's not attainable. Okay, so that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that your goal is attainable for both you and your students. So this is what I did when I created my goal. The first thing that I did was I had to um, ask myself a question. And the question that I asked myself was, 
what was my ideal future for my students? What, what did I want my students to achieve from this training program? And how was I going to be able to help them to succeed? Right, so I knew that um, I, I I knew that I wanted my students to be able to gain knowledge and understanding of lecture materials and hand hands on skills. Um, I knew that I had to use certain teaching strategies to help my students retain the information um, because a lot a lot of times students will remotely um, memorize information solely for testing, right? Because they want to make a good grade on that first module exam. Um, and what they're not realizing is, is that the information that we're instilling them, that we're, excuse me, that we're instilling in them is not just for testing, but it's for real life. This is what they have to know. They have to have a good understanding of this because they are going to be the ones that are caring for residents, clients, and patients, right? So they have to be able to retain that information. Um, they need to obtain the basic foundation of a nurse aide and also receive a first-time pass on uh, their state certification exam. Okay, so now that I, I was able to answer those questions, right, I knew how, how, what I was going to do. Um, I, I, I realized that, hey, you know, uh, the goal that I set has to be specific um, and relevant to my students' learning. So the information that I um, instill in them has to be specific to the training program, right? Because if I start uh, going off um, on a rant about my personal life um, that has absolutely nothing to do with the training, my students are going to be more interested in my personal life than the information that they need to successfully uh, pass uh, the training program and to gain that knowledge and understanding of the training material, hence passing their state certification exam, right? So we want to make sure that, um, you know, we're not talking about our personal life uh, to students during training. Um, and then I said, hey, you know what? I know that I can help the students connect the dots by sharing relevant real life events. So if I'm talking about uh, the body systems, let's say for instance, uh, the circulatory system, and I'm um, sharing information with them about a sudden cardiac arrest and uh, what their role is. Um, that's when I can actually incorporate uh, a real life uh, circumstance that I experienced, let's say a, a time when um, I participated in a code blue, right? That's relevant to the training. Um, and that will actually help the students connect what is on that whiteboard or screen or overhead projector to what really happens in real life, okay? And they're gonna be able to retain that information much better. Then um, I, you know, as I said, uh, what what I always say is that when you set a goal, it needs to be attainable not only for your students but for yourself. Um, if you're not able to um, attain your own goal, um, you're not going to be able to um, implement it um, or maintain it. Right. So your goal um, has to be attainable. Um, and how can you do this? Well, you can, um, you know, uh, create interactive activities that, um, you know, is relevant to training and that you have a good understanding of and that your students uh, will be able to enjoy doing, right? Because if, if your students enjoy doing something, they are going to learn. They're going to want to learn, okay? They're going to have a hunger for learning even more. So interactive activities, uh, role play, real life scenarios. I know my students really love that. Uh, group discussions. Um, and also, yes, old school flashcards, okay? Especially um, if you incorporate 
uh, interactive flashcards in your PowerPoint presentations if you use PowerPoint presentations. So now that I've um, you know figured out how I was going to help my students attain the goal um, and myself you know to implement and maintain it, um, how was I going to measure it? And yes, again, old school unannounced pop quizzes, okay? Just really short quizzes, five to 10 questions, okay? Uh, of relevant, pertinent information. Um, and also friendly game challenges like Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune. Um, I even throw in some physical game challenges with um, get my supplies. Um, you know, this will actually help them retain what supplies are needed for what skills, and it's really, really fun and really challenging, and the students um, love it. Um, and then, of course, you want your students to demonstrate what you have taught them, right? And you also want to evaluate. So these are some ways that um, you can measure your students' um, achievement of the goal that you have set forth. All right, I think that's about it. Um, I hope this little uh, presentation or short presentation was helpful to you. There's my contact information, uh, Julie Reynolds at natsapconsultant.com. Um, I also have a Facebook page, page uh, is uh, www.facebook.com slash nurse aid instructors dot com excuse me slash <laughs> all right but you can always contact me here um, at my email address julie reynolds at natsapconsultant.com i look forward to seeing you um, in the next presentation bye bye